and yes it is that cold um, in my house slash where I live welcome back to the studio right now I'm working on three drawings it's a prompt list it's for garden friends week um, oh, I don't have a lot of focus on by Katherine Selbert illustration um, on Instagram that's her handle um, and so the prompts there's only three prompts and it's for one week which I feel like is a lot more doable than like seven days of prompts um, and it looks like a really fun one so I'm working on that so the first one the first one I've been working on is ducks and daffodils um, so this is gonna be a cute little one I've been trying something new with my style which is much more I feel like graphic it's kind of hard because I like the like really painterly style as well but I also really enjoy that like almost design type style um, so the first one is ducks and daffodils there's the preview for that the next one is snails and snapdragons so that's a little sketch for that and then the last one is really rough but it's um supposed to be a garden friends parade so um and so that's what i've been working on right now um i've been trying to come up with some like series ideas for either videos or just like things i want to share about my art process I felt more inspired to like paint traditionally so um, I'm hoping that in this vlog we'll get to that um, I haven't broken out all the supplies yet but yeah stay tuned
All right. We are back in the studio today. I just finished my last drawing of the weekly prompt, um, the Garden Friends prompt list. Um, I, you probably have just seen that inserted in the video. And now I'm kind of just tinkering around, trying to figure out what I want to make next. Um, yeah. Um, I really had fun making that um, gouache painting that you all saw that was um, up on my Instagram for Easter. Um, there's something about the combination of colored pencil and gouache that is like really fun on the paper. Um, so I might be doing that more. Um, my next I'm thinking plan, I just, I'm really trying to work with my style and like figure out if I like making more like cute things or stylized things that are, I talked about this a little bit at the beginning of the vlog where I'm part of my, uh, I like drawing things realistically because I want things to look real but also there's a level of stylization that I think makes things more uh, aesthetically pleasing as opposed to just um, realistic which is not necessarily something that I need from all of my pieces um, and I think that like the pieces that I'm really drawn to as an artist like from other creators are things that are more like they made choices and they didn't just replicate what they see or what's in their head um there's much more of like artistic choices being made um and so i'm kind of trying to find my groove in that um yeah but so i'm thinking because i do want to make some things for my portfolio that look like um children's book work and children's book covers um, I'm thinking of doing a series where I, um, I think there's like six stories I want to do that are the, um, that are Hans Christian Andersen, um, re, uh, redrawings, like drawing a, my version of a cover for that story. Um, and I think that that would be kind of fun, um, that you'd get to see like, or that I could experiment with my style and how I would do something like that. And then I could use it for my portfolio. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'd probably do one or two at a time and then make that vi a video and then share those. Um, yeah, I kind of like talking to the camera like this. It's very different for me. I'm usually just record my screen and then <laughs> let that happen. Um, I also have been wanting to make more. I've been reading a lot and catching up on some um, books that I wasn't able to read a long time ago. So um, I find that I am wanting to draw things inspired by that. So maybe um, I'll make some more fan art. I know that that's kind of like a weird way of saying it, but I kind of, in my head, I kind of want it to be like, it's beautiful no matter what, and it doesn't look strictly like fan art. So even if you haven't read it or haven't seen the movie or seen the show that you're still drawn to it and so you are still interested in it. <laughs> I don't know. Like I want it to appeal to people beyond just those that have seen the content that it's based on. Um, yeah, so those are things that I've been thinking about and trying to work on. Um, I'm open to feedback. I want suggestions. I think that I know what I like creating, but also I like hearing what everybody else thinks I like, or like likes to hear what I like creating, or <laughs> I know what I like, I'm figuring out what I like to create. I want to hear what other people would like me to create. I love getting suggestions, I love getting um, requests, those are all things that I'm um, open to, and yeah, I think this will probably be the end of this vlog. Um, 
maybe in the next one I will show you some of the things I'm hanging up in my studio. I know I didn't do that this week or this time, so I'll have to do it next time. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all have a lovely week. Thank you all for joining me. Um, if you'd like to um, see any of the pieces that I created in this vlog, um, most of them, I think all of them will be on my Instagram. That is um, at the cozy artist. That's cozy, C-O-Z-I-E. Um, and if you're interested in seeing more content from me, please subscribe and stay around for the journey. I appreciate you. Have a good day. Bye.